I'm going to share the secrets of a show-stopping dessert where the main ingredient is bread. Isn't that unlikely? I know that doesn't look delicious yet, but trust me, it will. It's peach and berry summer pudding. It's a classic English dessert, and it's delicious. And I'm just going to unmold it. So you run a knife around the outside. This is layers of bread and fruit, all allowed to macerate overnight. I'm sure it was originally started because it uses up leftover bread and fruit, but it's so good you can make it with fresh bread and fresh fruit. And if I'm lucky, it's going to come out of the pan in one piece. Oh, how fantastic. So let me turn the clock back 24 hours, and I'll show you how I made it. Summer pudding is basically layers of bread and usually berries, but I kind of want to ramp up the flavor. So I'm going to use French brioche loaf and a mixture of cooked berries and peaches. They'll be really great together. So this is the brioche. It's an egg bread. It's kind of rich. It could be challah. It's the same kind of thing. And I've cut it in half inch thick slices after I cut the crust off. And this is the peaches and berries all cooked together. It's just gorgeous. I'll show you how I made it. I put a pint of hulled and sliced strawberries into a pan with one and a half cups of sugar, a quarter of a cup of water, and cooked them over medium-low heat. After five minutes, I added two half pints of fresh raspberries, two half pints of fresh blueberries, a pound of peeled peaches cut in half-inch dice. I brought everything to a simmer, then I cooked it for another minute, turned off the heat, stirred in another half pint of raspberries. I added them now to keep them whole. And finally, two tablespoons of framboise, which is raspberry liqueur. So big spoon of fruit and, and the juices, too. It's really important because that gets into the bread in the bottom. And then a layer of bread. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bread so that it fits perfectly in one layer. You can even tear it. It doesn't even have to be cut because you want it to end up being like a little cake. You can do this in any kind of a dish. Just remember that the bottom, when you turn it out, becomes the top. So choose something that'll look nice that way. This is gonna be fantastic. I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm just layering fruit and bread all the way to the top of the dish. And a final layer of fruit and syrup using every last drop. With the pudding assembled, I'll cover it loosely with plastic wrap. Put a plate on top approximately the same diameter as the inside of the dish. Weigh it down with a heavy can to compress the layers and put it in the fridge to chill overnight. I just want to show you the inside of this. It's incredible. Just cut it like a cake. Wow, love this. It's a great summer dessert. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, a little whipped cream always makes everything better. It's just cream, vanilla, sugar. Who knew there were so many things you could do with bread, even dessert?